Hey, good morning everyone. John at Upper Cumberland Apiary. It is Friday, April the 9th, and uh, just an, another absolutely beautiful day here in uh, Middle East Tennessee. Uh, it's uh, perfect conditions uh, for beekeeping and perfect conditions uh, to get into this hive here in just a little bit. This was, uh, I did inspections earlier this week before we had the, the rain and storms come in and wasn't able to get to this hive, so we're gonna get in it here in just a little bit and uh, take a look inside, see how they're progressing. Uh, this was one of our new queens from last fall, so I wanna see how she's building up and make sure uh, they've still, they're still doing good, plenty of space and no signs of swarming. But uh, also gonna talk a little bit about uh, what we are entering into now in the beekeeping season. Uh, you'll hear beekeepers talk about the nectar flow and that's uh, what we all look forward to. That's certainly what the bees look forward to this time of year. Uh, they're, they're ready for, for spring to really kick in, trigger in, and for uh, a lot of the trees and plants and flowers and shrubs around uh, our apiaries to, uh, to start uh, going into overdrive producing nectar and pollen. And we have had um, what I would say we have we kicked into that uh, into that mode now. You know, you see uh, early on you start to see maple trees budding up. You start to see dandelions starting to bloom, uh, but then just like just like that, um, overnight you you see a lot of bloom uh, open up. Uh, apple trees, plum trees, uh, pear trees. Um, we have two little small apple orchards here. Uh, some with some really old apple trees from my great grandpa's farm and then some right here uh, by this beehive that we planted uh, that my dad planted probably I don't know seven or eight years ago uh, but just like that overnight the blooms open up and the bees are all over these apple trees right now uh, red buds are, are opened up and uh, they're all over the red buds too but a lot of our, our early spring nectar comes from uh, from these fruit trees and uh, so the bees here up on the Cumberland Plateau are really finally getting a good taste of, of, of the spring nectar flow as it's starting to kick in. Uh, you know, off the mountain here, uh, uh, off the mountain to the east and west of us, uh, they've already been into the nectar flow as they're uh, a little bit farther ahead of us temperature-wise and bloom-wise, but we are really uh, kicking into it now. It's amazing just uh, in the last, you know, four or five days how uh, the apple trees have just overnight, it seems like just overnight, they've just bloomed up, opened up, and I uh, was just over in the in the old orchard a little while ago and uh, those apple trees are absolutely covered up with not only our honeybees but also a lot of native pollinators uh, that are taking advantage of it too. So I'll get some footage of that as well, show you what those uh, apple blooms look like, show you how the bees are working them and then also some footage of this inspection here as we uh, get under the hood and uh, see how this little hive's doing. All right, so this is a deep frame out of the top deep uh, brood chamber, top deep box on this hive. Let's see if you can spot the queen. She kind of sticks out a little there with her blue dot. So she is a, um, this is a first year queen actually. She was she was made with in a walkaway split. This was a walkaway split we made back last August. And so actually this will really be her first full season, but she was uh, made it in 2020, so she gets the blue dot. Whereas if she had been mated this year, we would put a white dot on her. But uh, she's doing good. I'm, I'm looking at this frame to see if I notice anything out of the ordinary. Um, you likely can't see it because all the bees on here, but also uh, just the camera. Uh, in my shaky hand doesn't really pick it up that well, but uh, we are we do have cat brood on this frame and Also uh, eggs and larvae, so she is uh, laying up into this top uh, deep box uh, Just added this top deep box onto this 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 hive um, Not too long ago and Actually put some some just some wax foundation up there not wax foundation my bad some plastic foundation up there uh, that I wax coated 
uh, in hopes that they would draw out some more uh, comb for us for this uh, for this hive. This is one of our smaller hives, and um, but it is looking good and building up well. You see this wax down here, down on the bottom of these frames. A lot of times they'll they'll build they'll build out um, what we call brace comb or burr comb uh, in between the frames uh, from one box to the other. And she will lay eggs down in here too. They'll also put pollen and nectar in these frames uh, or in these uh, cells. So I'm going to put her back in and uh, keep her isolated off so I can get into the bottom box to see if I see any any swarm cells at all, which I don't feel like we will, but you know what? You never know. All right, so I wanted to take a video of this frame as it is. Uh, it's a, a pollen frame. It is full of pollen. If you see it in inside these cells, the colorful orange and yellow, uh, that is the pollen that the bees are out collecting uh, feverishly right now on anything and everything that is blooming and producing pollen. I know many of you here in this part of Tennessee, as just like me, you suffer with serious allergies. <laughs> so we, we do have a lot of pollen in this area. Uh, a lot of this is what we're, what we're seeing coming off of the uh, apple trees right now. Uh, I was watching the bees, and I'll have some of that in the video earlier. You'll see uh, their pollen baskets coming off of the, the apple trees has that kind of that yellowish um, tan color. And so they're packing this frame full. This is a food frame uh, with pollen in it. Uh, the nurse bees actually consume uh, this pollen, and we call it bee bread. When they put it back in the cell, pack it down in there, they add a little nectar to it. Uh, and it converts uh, into uh, what we call bee bread and uh, they end up ingesting it, the nurse bees do, and uh, that allows them to um, create uh, through their mandibular glands and their um, hypophrangeal glands, I have a hard time saying that, um, a, a jelly uh, that they feed back to the larva. Um, some of it is royal jelly and some of it is just a jelly uh, that they do feed back to the worker, uh, the worker eggs and larvae. A lot of food right now. All right, so this frame has got um, uh, a lot of eggs and larvae in it that the queen has laid. Um, we've got some pollen that they're packing in, and we've got. Uh, Quite a bit of emerging brood that has come out of this frame and as you can see right there in the center of this shot that is a worker bee that is emerging from that cell and i'm going to try to see if i can hold it here long enough for you to see the birth of a a new worker bee I may do some editing it takes them a little while they have to chew their way out um, they are so highly cared for, uh, but then they have to kind of work their way out of the cell, so it takes them a little bit. And actually on this frame right now that I'm looking at, I see one, two, three, four, five, six other cells that are in the process of opening up and the worker bee emerging. So you can see her antenna there kind of feeling around. Uh, sensing around. She's using her uh, mandibles, her, her mouth parts to chew through the wax there. She's working hard and all these other <laughs> worker bees are not really paying her a whole lot of attention right now. Alright, there she comes. Right on out. This is a worker bee. She is emerging from this cell, and a part of the colony she is now in full. Amazing thing, the egg that she developed from was laid by our queen in that cell 21 days ago. 
Looks like a little tiny, tiny, tiny grain of rice. And 21 days later, you have a fully formed and functioning worker honeybee. Now she'll kind of stumble around in the hive for a few, <laughs> few days, kind of getting her bearings. And uh, you can see her already trying to clean herself off, get any residue that was left in from being in that capped uh, cell off of her. Her wings will need to harden up, but uh, she will, she's part of the team now, all the way. Pretty cool. And you can tell, I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but you see how shiny and bright and colorful the older bees are, and she's kind of gray. That's just kind of like when a baby's born. It doesn't, doesn't have all the color that it's going to have in a few days, but uh, she'll She'll color up here and be ready to rock and roll. Awesome. You see we got some more that are emerging. There's another one about to come out. You can see that cell there. That one that came out of that one a little while ago. There's one coming out right there. One coming out right there. It's growth time in the bee yard. All right, so uh, finished up the inspection on uh, this uh, small, we call it the garden hive because it's uh, close to our garden spot here. Uh, but uh, finished the inspection up on that. So glad you guys got to see uh, the, uh, the worker bee emerging uh, for, from, uh, from the cell. That's something that we as uh, beekeepers probably take for granted. But uh, every time I see it happen, it just is always an amazing thing. And I'm glad that some of you that are watching this video that aren't beekeepers or maybe you're brand new beekeepers, uh, you got to see that uh, up close and, and for the first time as well. So pretty, pretty amazing thing. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye on this hive. Again, this is one of our uh, uh, walk away uh, split hives from last August. Um, I saw a lot of um, emerging uh, brood, a lot of emerging workers. Uh, saw some, some good eggs and, and larvae. They are a little small. Uh, size-wise, but we are still uh, just in early April, uh, and they should be uh, building up here pretty quickly. But I'm going to keep an eye on her because I don't know. You know, she was made last August as a walkaway split. I don't know how well she was mated. She she had good patterns last year, and she was uh, laying eggs well. She's laying eggs um, pretty decent right now. I'll know in another uh, couple weeks uh, as, as this hive builds up and uh, we see how it produces, uh, but we'll keep an eye on, uh, I'll keep an eye on that and um, see what we need to do. So, gonna walk around the yard a little bit, show you some of uh, springtime in Tennessee. It is absolutely gorgeous here right now.